So we're measuring the face first to get the total surface area for this fraxel. And now we're doing the width. So the laser's not really firing, we're just calculating the area of your face. And we're all done. So what this laser does is it makes tiny, tiny little holes in your skin. Tiny little holes that have areas around them that are normal skin. Because with the normal type of laser resurfacing, and by normal I mean traditional or really the first laser resurfacing, we use a carbon dioxide laser, CO2 laser, or an erbium laser to basically remove the whole surface of the skin. And so there's a lot of wound healing involved. The results can be very dramatic from that surgery. You're doing great. Thank you. And we can see a demarcation line. So the treated area looks pink. The non-treated area looks not pink. And afterwards, there's a little bit of swelling. We normally put a, a gel mask on the skin after treatment to kind of cool the skin. We can give ice packs. You know that little chirp? That's what happens when it goes too fast. How you doing? Good. So how do you prevent infection if you have open wounds right now? Well, you don't really have open wounds. That's the interesting part. They close almost immediately. Okay. Now I wanted you to see something. But I know what I'm doing. Look at this. The predicted Kilojoules is 3.44 based on my measurement of your face. Right. And I mean estimated, I'm sorry, is 3.5. Actual is 3.44. So we your well, your face is good too. And the machine's good. Right. So we got it just right. So we gave you just, you know, the amount of energy that the machine suggested we should give you. It just feels like an extremely bad sunburn. Right. That's all. And tightness. Tightness is what we're aiming for, right? That's right.